one hour has expired. It is time to drain a little fat off of our duck and to turn it. So we're going to go in here and like I told you, we have these wonderful smells in the kitchen right now. Okay, now if you, as you look at this duck, there's no smoky smell in the house right now. There's no uh, aroma of anything being burnt. That is all flavor. That is the caramelization of the sugars that is on the duck, that is crisping up the duck skin. So what we're going to do, we're going to take out a small container. First thing, we're going to turn the duck. Okay, we're going to go breast side up now. Okay, so we have these wonderful lines in the duck. We're going to bring our sauce back over, but we're going to drain a little of the fat off the duck. This lovely, lovely duck fat, which in my kitchen has a million and one uses. Never have enough rendered duck fat. We have this beautiful bird. We got another hour left on our oven time, so what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to put some more of the sauce breast side up that has now been, had all that lovely duck fat draining through it into the drip pan here. While we were off camera, my beautiful wife, who's also my producer, was saying how much she enjoyed the smell of the sauce, the port wine, and the sweetness of the orange marmalade. It's really, really unmatched. Okay, breast side up. We're going to go right back into the oven again. For one hour. We'll take a short break. We'll come back in about 20 minutes. And we're going to start making our sauce. And like I said, we're going to use some bacon fat. We're going to use some of that rendered duck fat. We're going to throw a little peach preserves in there. Some more orange marmalade and that port wine. A little ginger, salt and pepper. And it's going to be fabulous. See you in 20 minutes. Okay, we're back. 20 minutes expired, and what we're going to do now, the duck is almost ready to come out of the oven, so what we're going to do is we're going to make our sauce. I have some bacon fat that I say last time I made bacon, which is always a wonderful, wonderful thing to keep around the house. And you can see I got a, a pan all heated up. So we're going to have that bacon fat. <clears throat> And some of the rendered duck fat as our base. This wonderful, delicious duck fat. I'm going to turn that, turn that down a little bit. And to this, we're going to add some pepper. We're going to add just a small amount of ginger. Get it out of there. There we go. That ginger is going to be a great, great, great additive to the sauce. Just a little bit of sage here. I don't have any fresh sage, so we, we're going to dip into our spice cabinet and get some sage out. Okay, we got that going. We'll give our spoon a quick wipe. We're going to add some of these delicious and some of this delicious orange marmalade. Just a nice spoonful. And then we're gonna go over here now. I smell that ginger, it's, it's divine. We're gonna add some peach preserves. Another one of that. We're going to my refrigerator here. It's this holiday duck recipe will not be complete without just a small amount of garlic. 
And we're gonna all let that, we're gonna let all that sit there in that pan and expose all those good, those good flavors. <clears throat> I got some lemon zest here. Now I'm gonna cut this up. Now this is, we're gonna make these into manageable pieces because we want to unleash the flavor of this lemon into the sauce. We've got a wonderful aroma right now of the lemon zest, the garlic, the ginger, the preserves, and all that is caramelizing on the, on the pan there. To that, we're going to have our little strainer here. We're going to add some lemon juice. No seeds, just catching all the seeds. This is the juice of a half of a lemon. Half a lemon juice. It has a nice, good squeeze. Wonderful, wonderful flavors that are just coming from this sauce. And the final ingredient we're going to add, we're going to let that sit for another minute and get my producer to come over here and take a look at what we have here. We're coming down to the end here. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull this out and take a look at this lovely, lovely wild mallard duck. Couple more minutes and we'll all be ready. Go back over to our sauce. I still have this wonderful port wine here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add about, about a cup of that port wine to this sauce. And it, oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful aroma. This is a flavor explosion in your mouth. It's a wonderful. This sauce is going to come straight out of here. And it's going to, I'm going to put it through the strainer, <clears throat> and we're going to we're going to serve this to the duck with the duck once I get the duck sliced. Okay, we got the heat off, and we are going to take this uh, sauce and we're going to run it through through the strainer here. And we're going to save all of that, all that goodness. Let's save all of that. A wonderful sauce for the dog. We're not going to put too much on there. Remember, all that good caramelized goodness is still left on the duck. We'll give this a nice little hit to get all the little bits that we can get through this, through this strainer into our sauce. Mm. And this is what we are left with. A wonderful, wonderful, wonderful sauce for our holiday duck. Wonderful sauce. Okay. We're going to take our duck out now. Time is up. We are left with a delicious looking wild duck. So we're going to carve some of that breast off. We just let it rest for a couple minutes. Let it sit there. And while we're thinking of that, I mean, while we're doing that, we're going to think of. 
pieces that we want for ourselves, what we want to save for our guests. We can butcher this entire duck up in, in a matter of minutes. Off of our, and if you if you take a look at this duck, what you'll notice is that get it out of our way. Take a look at this duck. What you'll notice that all that caramelized goodness from the sauce, <clears throat> and that you'll you'll have the the nice crispy duck skin, and just the smell of this wild game. And this time of year is just unmatched, unmatched. So let's go ahead and start our filet. Okay. We're going to start just right. We're going to start right here. I can do this without burning myself. Man. We're going to go right down the side of that breast. Oh, it's a wonderful, wonderful piece there. And we're going to go in. And what we have here, a piece of that filet. And uh, we're going to come in. We're going to give it a nice little slice like that. We'll slice it up into, into small pieces. Get the brightness right there. We'll start the slicing process. We'll clean our plate up. We got a little sticky, but you got that nice crispy skin. And we're going to take our, our sauce that we made, we're going to give it a nice little drizzle on top, and then, you know, it will maybe drizzle some around the plate. One more taste test we have to do. And this is it. Wild Mallard Duck Holiday Recipe. And the sauce is just... Mm. That, my friends, is absolutely wonderful. Stay tuned for more videos on my Facebook page, Chef Tao Sims, and my YouTube page, and uh, I wish you all bon appetit.